Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the FreeDOS channel. You know, I've wanted to do these videos for a while about how do you use FreeDOS? How do you get the most out of FreeDOS? And you know, FreeDOS is an old operating system, and maybe some people don't know how to use it. So I figured we'll do a short video today about how do you navigate your way around FreeDOS. So let's begin. So here I have FreeDOS 1.2. I've just done a uh, bare install on this to use the demo. Uh, now there's two commands that will get you most of the way around DOS, and those are dir and cd. So dir gives you a directory, it shows you a listing of what's in a directory, and the first time I run it, it needs to do a little bit of math to figure out how much uh, free space is there. Uh, but there I've got a directory of my C drive. Uh, FDOS is the directory where we install everything inside FreeDOS, and there's a couple other files there that actually uh, are the kernel, for example, and then configuration files uh, to boot up your system. Uh, but today let's look, look inside that FDOS directory. So to go inside the FDOS directory, you're going to use the CD command. So CD into FDOS. And by the way, all commands in DOS can be uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be typing lowercase today. So I'm inside the FDOS directory and I'm going to do another dir to see what's in here. And you can see all the directories that are part of a standard FreeDOS install. Now, a really interesting directory here is the doc directory. There's a lot of documentation in, included with FreeDOS, and that's where we put it inside that doc directory. So let's go into the CD uh, doc. Let's go into the doc directory, and let's see what's there. Now, this is going to be a very long list. So when I do a dir, you're going to see that it's going to prompt me to see more of this directory listing. And that's just because there's a lot of files in here. Now, if I wanted to see all of that uh, in a better way, I actually can use what's called a wide directory, and that's dir, and then we give it the uh, option of slash w, and that gives me a wide format directory. Now, I lose a little bit of detail on here. I don't see the last time it was modified, for example, but it allows me to see everything that's on the screen, uh, everything in that directory at one time. If this were a really, really big directory, uh, I'd get more prompting, but in most cases, uh, dir slash w will let you see everything that's in there. Now, there's some other interesting stuff in here in that, uh, what if you want to see more of what's in there? So, you know, we've got some directories in there. We could go in each one of those directories uh, one at a time and see what's inside them. But a better way to do it is to actually uh, use this other command called tree. I'm going to do this from the top directory, and so there's a couple ways to get there. One, you can see, you'll notice that every directory has a dot and a dot dot in it. And those are actually uh, shorthands, uh, shortcuts, uh, dot is always the current directory, dot dot always points to the previous directory. So one way to get to the previous directory is to do cd dot dot, and that brings me up one directory. If I wanted to go to the top of the directory, I actually could also type cd backslash, and that will get me to uh, the top of that directory tree. Now, I want to see everything that's inside my directory. Remember, uh, here I've only got one directory plus a whole bunch of stuff under it. So let's do the command tree. This will tell me everything that's, on, uh, that's inside this disk. So tree is going to give me quite a long output. And you can see I've got a lot of stuff inside that doc directory. And then just a couple of things at the end. So there was a lot there. And maybe we missed something. And so you can pipe this into another command that will pause it at the end of each screen. And that is uh, tree. And we're going to pipe that into the more command. And here it's going to run the tree command. And now it's going to run it into pipe. And you can see it's going to prompt me to uh, hit a key to see the next screen. And so I'm seeing this one screen at a time. Very easy to see everything that's in here. Uh, and this way, if I felt like I missed something with the big tree command, I can go back and see what's in there. Now, let's play with uh, making a directory. So it's, a, it's, it's great to see what's on your, on your drive, but let's actually make a new directory. So again, remind ourselves what we have in here. We have the fdos is the only other directory, uh, plus a couple of files. Let's go ahead and make a new directory. And make dir is how you make a new directory. In this case, we're going to create a new temporary directory just for this test, and we're going to call it temp. And if I do a dir, you can see that there it is. And now let's go into that temp directory and 
if I do a dir, you can see there's nothing in there. I see dot and I see dot dot. That will always be in a subdirectory. Let's go ahead and make two subdirectories. Just for the test, let's go ahead and make dir sub one. So we'll make a directory called sub one. Make dir sub two. We'll make another directory called sub two. So if I do a dir, you can see my sub one and my sub two directories. Now, if I go into just one of those directories and create a file, cd sub one, you can see there's nothing in there right now, but I can create a file by using the echo command. And I'm just going to say the word hello, and I'm going to put it into a file called hello.txt. And I can see I've created a file called hello.txt. Now, if I back up one directory, I can actually do a dir. I can actually see exactly what's inside a directory. I don't have to go into that directory. I can just say dir sub one, and you can see that there's my hello.txt file. Now, if I do a dir on sub two, there's nothing there because I haven't created anything yet. Uh, now, I can uh, let's go ahead and clean up after myself. Now, I can remove these directories, and one way to do it is with the rum dir command, and let's remove the sub two directory. Okay, that worked, right? Do a dir, sub two's not there anymore. Let's do rim dir on sub one. Now there's a file in it, so it fails. So how do we do that? We could go into that sub one directory and we could delete all the files that are in there. In this case, there's only one file, that would be pretty easy. If I wanted to uh, delete a directory that had a lot of files in it, uh, an easier way to do that is actually with del tree. And so with del tree, I can remove the sub one directory. And it's going to say, do you really want to delete everything in there? Yes, I do. And now it's deleted sub one. And you can see that now that directory is empty. Now I can do the same thing by backing up one directory and deleting my temp directory. Again, I could do rumder or I could do del tree. And in this case, we'll just happen to do rumder temp because there's nothing in there. And that's the basics of getting around in FreeDOS. We just showed you the CD command, the dir command, and a couple other commands that will help you create directories or move directories and do a little cleanup. And that's all there is for this episode of, the, of how to get around FreeDOS. Please visit our Facebook and our Twitter and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.